All right, guys, I'm so excited. Proxmox announced the new version today, 7.4.1, I believe. And we're just gonna go through and update. Um, I did this to one of my Proxmox boxes already, it went great. So we're gonna do it to this one right now and I'm gonna show you how it uh, works out. Um, one of the, the nice things about it is dark mode and that is on by default. And I'm gonna quickly run through this portion of the video. Um, we don't need to see all the updates, just the results. All right, all the updates are done. And all you need to do now is just refresh. You don't need to restart for it. And look at that by default. Oh, it's 7.4-3. That's the, the latest version that I have from mine. Um, one of the things I wanna showcase is um, before you could do dark mode with like plugins and stuff like that, but it still had an issue. And I'm gonna show you why right here. I'm gonna op open up one of my servers that I haven't updated yet. Um, so as you can see, I'm going to go into here and I'm going to go to that same page. I'm going to go to summary. And if you go to dark mode, you can see that the graphs still stay in light mode. And that always used to drive me crazy. But now with the new native dark mode inside of the new version, you can see the graphs are nice and uh, consistent with the dark mode look and feel. So anyways, this is just a quick video, but I thought I'd just share and uh, really excited. Thank you, Proxmox.